folks, welcome back to Simple Man's Barbecue. Uh, my name is Jason. Today I got a really, really easy, um, not so quick because we're doing it in the uh, in the slow cooker, but it's a very simple dish that I've made my wife many times. She's always loved it. It's uh, ch uh, chicken gravy and biscuits, and I'm going to show you how I do that today. So what I'm going to do is uh, I got just a bag of frozen chicken here, and it's still partially frozen, uh, boneless, skinless chicken breast. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to dump all this chicken in here, just like that. And I'm going to keep one clean hand here. I'm just going to season the heck out of it with this seasoned salt and pepper mix. Just make sure I get all the chicken real good. You want to come get it in here? You can see that. Just make sure I get all that real good. Doesn't really matter too much because I mean it is a slow cooker. It ain't like you're smoking this or, or grilling it. Okay, then I'm gonna hit it with uh, this Weber roasted garlic seasoning. This goes great on chicken, folks. Put some of that in there as well. That should be good. Then I'm gonna take my lovely uh, onions my uh, green peppers and my red peppers. I'm gonna put those all in there. And folks, that's pretty much it for right now. I'm not gonna add any liquid to this. I'm gonna keep it in there just like that. And I'm gonna cook it on low for about five to six hours until the chicken is like pulled apart tender. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. So it's on low right now. So I'll see y'all here in about uh, five or six hours. Okay. All right, folks. So this has been on for about uh, three hours now. I just want to check to see if it's uh, pull apart tender, and uh, doesn't look like it. No, not yet. I'm probably gonna do another hour or two, and then check it again. It certainly smells delicious. These onions and the peppers, all mixed together with the chicken and the spices. Yeah, it smells lovely. Um, but yeah, we'll give it a couple more hours. And then we'll go ahead and I'll show you uh, what we're going to do All next. Right, All right, folks. Okay, folks. So this has been on for uh, five hours now. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a second check. See uh, if we're looking tender enough. And that is exactly what I'm looking for. That is fall apart tender right there, folks. And that's what we're looking for. All right, folks. Hold on real quick. I am going to shred this all up real quick pull it all apart and then uh i'm gonna go ahead and show you what i'm gonna do next all right y'all what i have here is uh two packs of uh pioneer roasted turkey gravy and uh so yeah you know i'm gonna do it the simple way and use some packaged gravy uh, i'm gonna be honest don't really know how to make my own gravy homemade gravy so um that's what this says here is to um Bring one half cup of water to a full rolling boil. Uh, blend roasted turkey gravy mix uh, with a half a cup of cool water. Mix whisk until lump free. Set gravy mix blend aside. And then I guess when that's all done, you pour the mix into the boiling water. And then uh, we'll have our gravy mix. All right, folks, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my gravy mix ready real quick. And I'll see you back here in a few seconds. Alright folks, so I got my uh, two packs of gravy mix, mixed, uh, mixing it right now with um, one cup of water because it said uh, mix it with a half a cup, with a half a cup of water, but since I'm making two packs, I'll add in a full cup of water. It says mix in until there's no lumps, so I'm just going to mix this in real good. I've got my water on the stove right now, boiling, and then as soon as that turns into a boil, we're going to go ahead and mix this in there as well. All right, so I got my water to a rolling boil. I'll go ahead and uh, pour my gravy mix in there. And now it says to stir vigorously until thickens. And then as soon as it thickens, take it off the fire. Take it off the heat. All right, folks, once I get this all thickened up and mixed in well, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off the heat and we're gonna pour this into our chicken and vegetable mix. 
Okay, I got that all thickened up now. So what I'm gonna do, just go ahead and take this gravy, pour it right into the slow cooker with the chicken, with the vegetables, just like so. I got fogged up my lens there a little bit. Let's see if I can fix that. There we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of mix this in really good. Now, you're supposed to use four cups of water with this, uh, or two cups per package. But, um, so I only use three cups total because I got about a cup's worth of, maybe a little bit more than a cup's worth of juice in here from the chicken and from the vegetables. So that I got that all mixed up. Now, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and get my biscuits ready, put them in the oven, and then uh, I'll show you how I plate these up. And then we're gonna dig into these and uh, see how they taste. All right, folks. All right, folks, so what I got here is some homemade biscuit dough. Um, no, I'm just playing. I actually got these from Kroger. Pillsbury was kind enough to make these for me. So I'm going to pop these in the oven for about um, 15 minutes at 350 degrees. And uh, when these are done, we're going to go ahead and make our plate. All right, folks. All right, folks, we're all done now. Got my biscuits all done. So we're going to go ahead and put this chicken gravy on here. This smells amazing. I think it smells amazing. Wait till you taste this. Go ahead and get a look at that, folks. With the peppers and the chicken and the gravy. Just pour that right on top, just like that. How about that, folks? Well, anybody knows me. I gotta have more than one spoonful or ladle full. That doesn't me. look good. We can't be friends. Yeah, that doesn't look good, folks. We can't be friends, okay? All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and bite into this, and let's see how we did. All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and dig into this here. See if I can get a good piece of chicken, get a couple peppers in there. There we go. Cheers to you, folks. Hmm. <laughs> it's not even right. Hold on, baby. You gotta try this. It's not even right how good this is, folks. Just check it for now. If um, if you've never tried this before, please, please give it a try. What do you think? Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, folks. Listen, man. This right here. About as simple as it gets. Y'all saw what I did. No effort at all, man. But it's freaking amazing. Freaking delicious, man. Your family and friends will love you for it. Listen, um, like I said, if you haven't tried this, please give it a try, man. It's worth it. Um, I appreciate you all watching. God bless you all, man. To all my subscribers out there who are always coming back every video, man. Thank you so much, man. Uh, Y'all are y'all are y'all are the reasons why I do this, man. Y'all make me happy, man. Thank you so much. And to all the uh, any new ones out there who might be new here watching this today, um, if you could please go ahead and like and subscribe for me. Hit that notification bell. Once again, thank you all so much. God bless you all. Much love to you all. Keep it simple, baby.